Hi everybody, this is Jamie the Board Game Man here. Today we're going vintage. Yes, 1968 to be exact. This is a game that has been reprinted a couple times and is also another game that might sound familiar to you, the game of 99. It plays identically to five straight by straight line products. This was the original that came out and then later on game of 99 came out. There's only a couple little tweaks uh, between the two. It plays exactly the same. Uh, this one has a pegboard, where you actually use pegs, where Game of 99 uses chips. Um, you can either play two players or three players, or you can do teams of two and have either four or six players. However you want to play it, there's three different colored pegs. So however you want to sort that out. Um, that's pretty much about it for the intro. Let's head on over to the gamers table, and I'll show you how to play five straight. All right, everybody, here we are at the gamer's table. We're going to go ahead and show you five straight. And let me show you the components of the game. So first of all, you have the pegboard. And this is numbered from 0 to 99. And you can see the lower numbers start in the middle, 1, 2, 3, 4. And it kind of goes in a serpentine pattern. It starts going one way, and then it goes around this way, and then go around this way, like a snail. So it's actually pretty cool how they did the numbers. You also have three different colors to choose from. Three different. So you can either play a two-player game, you can play a three-player game. If you want to have player, uh, teams of two, you can do six. You know, whatever, whatever, uh, how many players you have that night. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you a two-player game. Sorry, I took the green ones out and the yellow ones out. We'll go ahead and put the red ones away. And it's funny, these kind of remind me of Light Bright. I don't know if you remember Light Bright back when you were a kid. I used to love that. These kind of remind me of a Light Bright. You know, you used to plug it in the little, uh, show you what color to plug in. Kind of remind me of those. You also have the deck of cards here, and the deck of cards are numbered from 0 to 99, as you can see here. Okay, like so. And then, if you're looking for the instructions, if you have this version, at first I, I was like, oh, come on. Because I opened it up, <laughs> and I noticed that there was no paper instructions in here. There's no printing inside the lid, which is usually what they did. But in this version, if you have this version, check the bottom of your box, because there are the instructions. So, uh, luckily, this wasn't slid around a lot where it kind of wore off. It actually looks pretty good. But the instructions are actually on the bottom of the box. So, I can imagine later versions is probably not like that. But just in case you do have this 1968 version, it's actually on the bottom of the box. Okay, let's get to playing. So, how you play is there's two different ways to win this game. One player can manage to get five in a row. You can go horizontally, vertically, or diagonally. Or if one player gets stuck with all dead cards, and I'll go over that in just a moment here. So what we're going to do here is each player is going to start off with four cards. So you're going to go ahead and count four cards, the green, four cards to yellow, and then you're going to go ahead and put these on the side here so you can uh, make it as a draw pile. So let's go ahead and do green first. Green's going to look at their four cards, and the numbers you have on your cards are the numbers that you can put a peg in the board either that number or higher, okay? So for instance, in 70, you can either put, you can put a peg in either 70 or any number higher than 70. One is probably the best card you can get besides zero because you can put this pretty much anywhere on the board you want. So these ones you might want to hang on to a little bit because these are very, very valuable. The lower number you have, the more valuable the card is. And just because you can put a peg in any number and above that number. So that is, these are actually great cards here. 1, 5, 39, 70. So I'd be tickled pink if I had these to start off the game. Okay. So what the player is going to do is he's going to decide, okay, I want to use 70. Okay. What he's going to do is he, he can put it anywhere 70 on higher. Okay. He's going to say, I'm going to do 73. So he goes ahead. He's going to play this card face up. And he's going to go ahead and put it in 73. His turn is over. Okay. You don't draw any cards, you don't do anything like that. You play a card, you, po you uh, lay down a, a peg, that's it. That's the end of your turn. So now yellow's going to look at their four cards. Ooh, yikes. 89 and 95, you got some high ones in there. 12 is a very good card. 37 is not bad either. So yellow would look at the board and say, okay, uh, let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this 95 because I don't want that number to be, you know, I don't want to get stuck with this card later on. So you can put either 95 up to 99. He's going to go ahead and put 99 here. 
So this card will be face up and then at the end of his turn. Now, at the beginning of your next turn, you can either play a card and, and lay down a peg or you just draw a card. There's, there's two different options you could do at the beginning of each of your turns. You can either play a card, lay down a peg, or just draw a card. The maximum amount of cards you can have at one time is four. Um, I know the game in 99, I think it's five is the maximum you have. In this game, it is four. So the odds of you having a dead card are a little more, uh, you know, a little more realistic than the, in the game of uh, 99. You actually have five. So anyhow, so uh, this, this player is going to look and say, okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and draw a card. So he draws a card. He gets 45. That's the end of his turn. And then yellow can look over here and say, you know, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to play this 89. So he's going to play the 89. He puts that face up in front of him. And he can lay it anywhere from 89 up higher. So maybe he's going to go maybe something like this. Okay. But you don't want to be too, you know, you want to be showing your hand too quickly. Because then you'll know exactly what's going on here. And then someone can go right in there and block it. So you got to be really careful about that kind of thing. You just want to kind of go around and kind of slowly massage those little five pegs next to each other. And then the next thing you know, you're like, oh my gosh, I didn't even see that. And, uh, and that's the way to do it. But that's pretty much how the game works. You go back and forth. And uh, like I said, the first player to, that manages to get five in a row, like I said, either horizontally, vertically, or diagonally wins the game. Or if you end up with four cards in your hand and you cannot play any of these cards, they're all dead. You know, let's say you have all these high cards and all of them are taken, you lose that way as well. So there's, there's two different ways to lose in this game. So, and uh, that, my friends, is how you play... Five straight.